Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Super Riot, and um, this is Hey YouTube, this is Super Riot, and welcome back to my channel. And on this episode, we're gonna do some arena. I believe arena reset every two weeks, so that's bi weekly. And I believe today is the last day to do arena. So uh, let's see my progress in arena right now. And let's check out my lineup. It's uh, changed quite a bit from uh, my last video. And I did some hiring off camera and it was an amazing hiring. I did uh, 10 times hiring, 10 times, 10 times. And I got two pounder. One Pangoli, one Rene Van, one Kiron, a Savage Chief, of course, two Glory Priest, and a Dark Rider. And that was, uh, I think, one of the best hiring I ever did. But uh, sadly, I didn't have that on camera. But uh, with no further ado, let's check out my lineup. So I managed to get two pounder and uh, uh, raise his level cap to 150. And here's my pounder. Here's my pancoli. I raise him to 145. Uh, Arctic Lord. I don't use Sapphic in uh, Arena, so. Uh, here's my Renee Van. I still use her, of course. And Kiron. Well, I think in some point in time, I'm gonna place Kiron with uh, my Great Sage. I think. Great Sage is critical in arena, you know, because I face a lot of opponent. I mean, it just kind of devastate my whole lineup because it completely locks out all my skill. I can't do anything. So I think I'm going to replace uh, uh, maybe Kiron or uh, Arctic Lord with Great Sage. I think, uh, yeah, that's the best way to go right now. And in, in terms of tanks, if I manage to uh, roll more landslide, uh, then I could replace my tank with landslide too. Maybe Arctic Lord. Uh, we'll see. So let's let's see my uh, hero's aid for arena. It also has been changed from last time. Okay. Here's my arena aid. Uh, what has been changed is that I managed to roll. No, I managed to uh, obtain uh, Great Sage, the monkey, so I put him on Arctic Lord. Because uh, if I were to put him on Pounder, because my Pounder will be the front line, everybody gonna attack him, so I don't want to lose my Great Sage too, because when, when uh, the aid for Great Sage, he summon two, two Great Sage every eight second, maximum two. So if the hero that you put the aid on dies, he will die with them. So that's why I want to put on my Arctic Lord because he's uh, he's a second in line in the arena. So uh, Pounder is going to be the first to die, but uh, that's why I don't want Great Sage to die with him. So that's that's uh, my updated lineup. And of course, I have Rene Van as an aid for both my sharpshooter, Rene Van and Kiron. Uh, the Pounder, I think, Landslide is a great aid for Pounder because uh, right now, currently, he recovered 2 HP every 6 seconds for Pounder and of course, you know, Pounder needs a lot of HP for tanking. Uh, so, uh, if you got a high level Landslide and you don't use him much for Arena, then put him in for aid. So, that's my recommendations. And of course, I'm gonna keep uh, Kiron just to uh, for, to use him as an aid for my Pinkoli because uh, he boosts uh, uh, the hero attack a lot. If uh, if you have high level, you can boost him a lot. And I'm also working on my second divine for uh, Pangoli. Actually, uh, I'm working on uh, Scorpio. No, I'm I'm working on Libra. So to increase my Pangoli attack, 
because right now yeah, I want to focus him more than uh, just to get my Great Sage uh, Divine Skill because right now he, he don't have any Divine Skill yet because I'm saving all those Mugen and stuff for Bengali but then again I need to hit level 70 in, in order to uh, uh, evolve Pangoli so it's gonna be a while and by the way I'm saving uh, all my shards my jewels so uh, that uh, I can do some hiring during a Lord's Gone Wild event hopefully it's uh, you know maybe next week sometime next week or maybe tomorrow uh, you never know and oh uh, yeah I forgot to show you all my divine skill here's my pounder divine skill yeah Alright, uh, you always see my Pankoli, here's my uh, Arctic Lord, Divine Skill. Yeah, I need to uh, unlock the Divine. But then I'm uh, right now, I'm at a point, I'm not sure whether I should replace my Arctic Lord with Great Sage. Because, you know, I, I've seen Great Sage, he's, he's pretty good in the arena. I think he's one of the key character in the arena as of now. I mean, you can't get to a DD without a uh, great sage these days. It's just impossible. So that's my Safric. I don't use him for arena, but I do use him for aid. For Pinkoli aid. He's my Rene Van. Evolution. Of course, uh, Kiron doesn't have any. So that's it. Uh, let's go into arena. And we're gonna fight. See, uh, foe of the day. Okay, wow. Oh, check that out. There's no way I'm in hell I'm gonna beat this team. I mean, look at it. Level 192, Rene Van. 192 Pounder. It has a 170 Great Sage, and it, it even has Landslide. I mean, there's no way I can beat him. But uh, just to prove that I can't beat him, let's fight him. Because I think I fight this guy uh, in the morning. I couldn't beat him. I fight him like a couple of times. I mean, the level is just insane. There's no way. There's no way. Okay, because uh, Landslide in Arena, I think his uh, Divine Skill is pretty good. If you uh, read his Divine Skill, he, he uh, lessen the damage. As you can see there, their Great Sage just proc and pretty much disable all my hero skill. That is uh, way OP. I mean, if he just disable like one or maybe two, then that's okay, but then he disable everybody. That's why I'm keep on losing to this team because I couldn't get my skill up fast enough. So yeah. So always trying to avoid that guy. Uh, let's see, backhawk. Okay, this uh, is uh, my lineup. Pounder is always in front, and then Arctic Lord. Kampenkoli, Rene Van, and Kiron. I think I messed up on this one. Okay, yeah, I think I messed up. See, Pankoli should be on this side. Kiron should be here. Because uh, the reason I, I do this is that if they um, attack my pounder and kill him, they can possibly go to Arctic Lord, but uh, most of the time we go straight for this position right here, which is Kiron. And if they destroy my Kiron and all his mercenary, I can use uh, Rene Van Divine uh, to um, bring back 50% uh, of the mercenary and uh, lessen the damage and stuff like that. So that's why I put Kiron uh, in the third place. That way, you know, I still have a chance. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Wow. Okay. Ooh, we're level 155 Pinkoli. I mean, 
Uh, I think that's a death wish right there. You know what? Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's just go for it. Let's go. Hope me the best. We can do this. We can do this. They don't have great sage here, so we're a little bit safe from them. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to use Pankoli Divine. Push uh, three of the hero away. Meanwhile, I'm going to use Pounder Divine to heal him up. Okay, they, um, their, their Pankoli just used their Divine. I think I'm, I'm winning this guy. I'm winning. Wow, I can't believe that. Okay, that is awesome. So I guess um, he didn't unlock all his divine. That's why I was able to win easily. Otherwise, it's gonna be difficult if uh, your opponent unlock all the divine. Sometimes you know the level can be very deceiving. Although they have high level, but they didn't completely lock all the divine. And sometimes they have low level, lower than yours, but they unlock other divines. I mean, just. That's just how Arena is. I wish I can uh, tell my opponent uh, if they have divine skill or not. That way I can make a better decision, but. I don't know. This is IGG, okay? This guy. Okay, here, here's the thing. Again, if you watched my last video, I have said, you know, although they have low level, I mean, the skill might be very high or the divine very high. Uh, the reason is that uh, if I beat them, I got 1651 point, And the more point they have, the more point that I can obtain from beating them, the harder they are. So that's the reason why this guy give me a lot of point if I beat him but let's go for it and let's just hope I'm wrong you know let's just hope they don't have a high level divine stuff like that or high level skill but uh, I doubt it because uh, just just a point that uh, beating them is just insane okay now it's Pankoli push three hero on the back and then while my pounder go up, I'll use Divine Blood Cap to heal him up. And then pop out my Kiron uh, skills. He make three clone of himself. And boost our sharpshooter attack. Bangoli again. Okay, and I think I'm winning. Yes, I'm winning. Why are they fighting all the way down there? Oh yeah, I think uh, their Pangoli have a divine skill. Blaze uh, blast, I believe. But I'm winning. I'm winning. Okay. So yeah, that's why sometimes you know I've, I just go for it. You know, I you you never know. Just unless they're like, uber high level, then I might rethink again. But. If they're on par with my level, then I'm just gonna go for it. So we have seven chances. Let's see what this guy have. Okay. Let's just hope uh, this guy doesn't max out his uh, score mage. Because uh, if he max out his score mage, he's gonna be very OP. Because uh, score mage, team up with Pangoli, it can be devastating. Uh, which means if he maxes his score mage, uh, that means he's using a wizard strategy. Which is, uh, I think, the second best uh, strategy in this game to use against high level player. Well, lately, I have I've been seeing a lot of Abyss Demon in Arena. And I think he's a, he's a pretty decent tank because he can heal himself. Pounder can, his divine can, but otherwise, you know, he can't heal himself. And uh, Abyss Demon, he has the ability just to heal up and heal up. 
And most of the time, you know, he's the last guy to die. I don't know why. Yeah, because he can heal himself. So we have no problem there. Man, if, if I got uh, Pankoli next divine, uh, passive divine skill, I, my Pankoli gonna be uh, pretty uber awesome. It could be like very high damage. Oh, okay, okay. This guy is 16,200 points. Oh man, he have a... He have a monkey. Oh, let's just hope his monkey doesn't uh, have a divine skill. I mean, that's the only thing that could save me. If in the middle of battle and suddenly he pops his divine skill on the monkey, I mean... That could spell the end for my team. Even though, you know, I think my level is higher than his. But then his monkeys. Uh, I hate monkeys on the opponent's side, of course. If I have, if I have monkey on my team, I mean, I'll, I'll be good. Okay, let's heal up Pounder. So, yeah, the Pankoli just pushed me out. Good thing they don't have Renee Venn so they can revive. Oh, oh man, just my worst nightmare came true. His monkey Prox uses divine skill, but good thing that you know my team is pretty high level, so I can withstand most of uh, monkey's damage. Okay, so we have no problem there. Awesome, so we gained the rank of Emperor right now. That's 2,000 rings guys, 2,000 rings, so... That's awesome. So I think from from tyrant, if you want to get to deities, then you're gonna need to beat all the foe of the day. Plus, every enemy has to be at least sixteen hundred points or fifteen hundred point or more. Plus, you have to uh, buy a couple of arena chances. So. By like I don't know four to eight chances and beat all your opponent, beat all your four of the day to get to DDs. I mean that's uh that's pretty challenging if you ask me. I wasn't able to do that. I mean, I'm sure I can get up to the next rank if I spend some more gems, but I don't I don't see the point of getting more souls because souls in this game is easy to get. Okay, let's focus here. Okay, this uh, this team is uh, okay. Let's see if I can beat them. And a pretty high level. Uh, what's a guy called? Level one eighty three blitz bomber. I mean, uh, that Rene Van. For some reason, you know, I always want to get Renee Van first, try beat her first because she's she's always end up reviving the enemies. Uh, powder, and you know, Powder he have a massive amount of HP and damage. Yeah, he have more damage and uh, a lot of uh, heroes in this game, a lot of ep epics in this game. I mean, for a tank, that guy is just one heck of a tank. That's why he's still valuable even uh, when Landslide was released, you know, people still use Pounder for the team because he's a good asset. Oh no, okay, well, I'm dying, I'm dying, oh, come on. Okay, I think, I, I think we can win this. Okay, so they have one left. See, that's why I put a uh, monkey as a aid for my Arctic Lord because uh,
they always focus on my Kiron first instead of Arctic Lord most, most of the time. I don't know why, because I did put uh, Arctic Lord on a second, second position to be attacked. But somehow they just go straight to my back row. As you can see here, they sometimes they just skip uh, beating up Arctic Lord and just go straight for my back row. I don't know why. I think uh, it has to do something with my formation. So that's why, you know, if it's okay if they kill my Kiron because I can use my Rene Van Divine. Okay, let's uh, go back to this team. I think we can beat them. Right now my uh, Pangoli's skill is 16 of 20 but uh, I unlock like perfect skill for his uh, hero talent or something like that. I think that's uh, what they call in this game hero talent. I have perfect 5 of 5 talent for him. So he's pretty OP. I think talent is very important guy. You can gain like a thousand damage. Uh, on a high level if, if you have a perfect talent so don't skip on that uh, save off your gyms not not just to do hiring but uh, to get that perfect skill you know it's uh, pretty critical to get a perfect uh, talent for your epics especially like damage dealer yeah and Pankoli is still one of the best damage dealer in this game you cannot skip them. Okay, so uh, let's see. I have three chances left. I'm not gonna be able to get the the uh, go up to legend right now because I believe I lose a couple of battles. I mean, a bunch of battles in my arena attempts. If you go back to all my videos, you know. Because I'm facing a lot of a difficult opponent. So to go up here, I need to at least, yeah, win a lot. I beat every four of the, the day, but I wasn't able to beat a lot of four of uh, the day. Okay. But, you know, we're going to finish this. Maybe, just maybe, if... I put out some more gems to get to next rank, but I kind of doubt I will do that because uh, I, it's not worth uh, putting like thousands of gems to get two thousand, two hundred thousand souls because I'm not trying to farm for souls. If that, if they change that to you know jewels or something like that or mutagen, I mean I would totally go for that. I mean. If they give you like, for example, like 600 mutagen for champion uh, rank or something, I mean, I would totally go for that. I would spend like 2,000 gym to get uh, that amount of uh, mutagen. And as you know, your know, mutagen in this game, they sell it for like uh, 10,000 jewels for like 1,000 mutagen. That's just crazy insane. So basically, to this point, um, I'm just trying to get at least a uh, full, at least fifteen hundred points or more. And you know, it has to look uh, doable most of the time because sometimes you know I underestimate people. I mean, my team just got squished. Okay, use my goalie. Now I'm gonna. Knock them back. Man, I love Pankoli. I just, I mean, just imagine if he have a divine level three. That would be insane. You know, I haven't seen anybody with divine level three yet. That uh, that I know of. But I'm sure you know quite a few people got divine three. I mean, they must have spent tons in this game in order to get that kind of uh, power. See, 
with IGG game, most of the time it's not about skill. It's about how much you spend in this game. I wouldn't recommend you guys spend too much in this game. I mean, it's doable. Uh, if you're free to play, just keep playing every day. Log in, get all your jewels, save up, and eventually you get there one day, but not just, uh, not right away, you know. It takes a lot of time. So we defeated that guy. 189? Oh man. Plus a pool. Sage. 155 Sage. Okay, let's go for this guy. Looks kind of hard, but you never know. You never know what kind of divine skill they have or what kind of uh, uh, aid they have. Because if they have like insane aid, I mean, with high level, you're, you're in trouble. Because aid in this, in this game is pretty important too. If you level them high enough and use uh, as an aid, it could uh, make a difference between a win and a loss. Okay, my pounder is about to die. And he's dead now. Okay. Can I win this? I might. Okay, three on three, three on three. There, Renee Van still alive. Oh man, okay, I'm losing because my tank couldn't heal himself. That's why. That's why Abyss Demon is pretty valuable in this game. If you hire him, at least I don't know level 15 above, then he's pretty OP because he can heal himself. I mean, come on guys, I mean, who in this game can heal himself? Just uh, skill on skill alone, not divine. Oh man, look at that, he's, he's taking on everybody. You see, this guy's OP. This guy over here is OP. He just heal himself, heal and heal. So we lose that. I don't need to... Uh, Okay, guys, sorry for that interruption. I mean, it's a really loud motorcycle just drove by, and he's kind of ruined my video, so I need to do a quick transition. 
And I have one more chance left. You, you see what I mean? I mean, um, I'm all the way in the backyard and you can still hear. I mean, I just, I just hate, sometimes I just hate living in the cities. There's too much noise pollution. But what can you do, you know? Of course you can move, then where are you going to find a job in the country? Okay, um, is this going to be a doable? Okay, I don't think it's doable. That's too much. Oh man, this guy keeps coming back and this motorcycle guy. Plus, you know, sometimes I hate living near like uh, school and stuff. Because uh, every morning is like a whole bunch of cars and buses drove by. And uh, at like 4 or 5 o'clock, I mean, the kid came home. It's just all kind of noise. There we go, that douchebag just came back. I mean, do I have to stir up the whole neighborhood? That's, that's why sometimes I don't like motorcycles, you know. I mean, it was, you just make other people annoyed. I mean, it's fun to drive a motorcycle. I, I've, I've driven a motorcycle before. But, you know, it's just kind of annoying for other people. Because you're making all that noise. I mean, sleeping in the middle of the night, you know, some D-bag drove by the neighborhood. I mean, just super loud. Okay, so we, we did beat this guy. I believe he's pretty easy. I mean, in the arena, the whole point is to get up to DD, right? So every fight counts. That's why I do some skips. I do skip sometime, maybe a lot of time, but every fight counts. I mean, I just don't don't fight him. So there he goes. So so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like the video, and if you do. Put a like on the bottom right hand corner of YouTube, uh, subscribe to this channel, share the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I will have more content for you guys soon, so take care.